my 20 top pet peeves, the pet peeves that really irk my nerves, really can't stand it when these people do these things. So if I say I can't stand this or I hate it, man, I'm probably going to say that a lot, but just ignore that because that's definitely going to be said a lot throughout this video. But that is today's video. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with this video. is slow walking people i get so irritated when i'm behind a slow walking person or a group of slow walking people because i walk really really fast and if there's ever a case where i have to run i will run fast too now if i'm behind elderly people i understand because they be on walkers and canes because they have health problems but if you're not injured, why are you walking slow and wasting other people's time? Especially if I'm in the mall and I'm behind a group of slow walking people and I cannot get around them, I just say to myself, can these people walk any faster because I have places to go, okay? I don't have time to be behind you and you can't move any faster than five miles per hour, okay? Because apparently they don't care or don't even think about or consider the other people that's walking behind them. And then at school, if I'm behind a group of slow walking people and I cannot get around them, I would just go through them because I don't have time to be walking behind you and we only have five minutes to get to class because I like to get to class on time. And apparently they don't. They just show up to class whenever the spirit hit and I don't do that okay because I like to be in my class on time the second one is people who chew with their mouths open and they talk at the same time first of all this is nasty because we don't want to see all the food you got in your mouth Second of all, we can't hear or understand what you're saying yet again because you got food in your mouth. Third of all, you can choke, which is really, really bad, obviously. And fourth of all, food and spit is going to come flying out your mouth. And I don't want your nasty food or your nasty spit on me, near my food, or on my food. Close your mouth, chew your food, and then talk when you swallowed your food like normal people do because that's what normal people do the third one is when women and girls take their lashes off this bothers me so bad because whenever i see this happening like on tv or on a youtube video my whole body just gets covered in goosebumps. Like, I don't wear fake lashes, so I don't know how it feels when you take them off or when you put them on. But I just know I cannot stand it when a woman or a girl takes her lashes off because my body gets covered in goosebumps. And I don't know, it's just weird to see. It's just, it's just awkward just to see them just yank their lashes off like that. Like... Mm, I just, I just can't, I just can't. It's too much for me. The fourth one is the way young women and young girls dress. And what I mean by this is, I feel like young women and young girls show way too much skin these days. And um, just because of the way they dress, like the mini skirts, the mini dresses that are like bodycon and they really, really short and they just showing too much leg like they showing too much leg skin too much arms too much up here in this area like i feel like they don't care about the way they look or the way they present themselves in front of other people or their appearance because personally i would not dress like that and i cannot stand it to see other girls and young women 
in my generation to dress like this. The fifth one is know-it-alls. People who think they know everything in the world when they really don't. And again, I see this as school because some people, well not people, but students be sitting in classrooms and um, what is it called? Work is being handed to them. And you know how the teacher asks, if anybody needs any help, just come to my desk and ask. Just raise your hand and ask. And then um, they think they know everything. And then five minutes later, they got to ask somebody for help. And I'd be like, oh, I thought you knew it. Why are you asking for help? Like, you don't know everything that you thought you did know because you don't know. Because that's why you asking for help five minutes later. If I know I need help, I'm not going to sit there like a bump on a log and just basically look crazy. And knowing that I don't know the stuff, I'm going to get up and ask the teacher. I mean, that's what that's what normal people do in school. Like, if you know you don't know something, get up and ask the teacher or ask somebody around you who does know it. The sixth one is when guys talk to a woman or a girl and they say, bro, dude, or man. Do I look like you? Do do I look like do I look like a male? Or do I look like a boy? Because every day I look, I wake up and I look in the mirror. This is how I look, okay? I'm not your bro, I'm not your dude, and I'm not your man. And I kind of feel like that's disrespectful because we're not the same as you and i feel like um men and boys should respect women and girls and calling them bros dude and man that's just disrespectful because we're not on the same level as you we're different people so respect us the seventh thing is when teachers be nice at the beginning of the school year and then they turn mean. This happens every single school year. Now, not every teacher does this because um, one of my teachers, matter of fact, my favorite teacher from 10th grade, she was nice the whole year round. Now, I'm mainly talking about my teachers in 11th grade. My English teacher, my chemistry teacher, um, and my Spanish teacher. They were nice at the beginning of the school year for maybe two weeks. And then after those two weeks were up, when the kids started to get on their nerves and not follow follow their instructions or do the work, they start to get mad and they their attitudes start to change and they start to get really, really mean. And I'd be like, how you gonna be nice on the first day of school? And then two, three weeks later, now you mean and you want to write everybody up to the office. Honestly, I feel like teachers should keep the same level of attitude throughout the whole entire school year. Because that also determines if your students are going to like you or not. The eighth one is when teachers or teachers who punish the whole class just because of a few people disrupted their class this happened last year when i was a junior this happened in my spanish class and honestly i really didn't like my spanish teacher because he was just mean he was mean all the way around i mean he was nice to me because i never got in trouble i never interrupted or disrupted his class so he was always nice to me but it was maybe um Four or five people who were always getting in trouble or disruptive in his class. And so, you know how in baseball, if you get struck out three times, you're out, like three strikes you out? That was basically the same rules in his classroom. Because first, we can't have our phones. And so, a lot of people pull their phones out when he's not around or when he's not close to them and try to sneak it but he can still see it so that's strike one then if you talk across the roads that's strike two because in his class we're not supposed to talk across the road so if you do that that's strike two then 
if you talk while he's trying to teach, that's it. That's strike number three. He gets mad. He's done. Everybody just basically do this work while he's just back there writing people up. And then he will give us like homework assignments or extra work to do while we're in class. Only just because of two or three people who dis who did not follow his rules. And honestly, I kind of feel like that shouldn't be allowed because if the whole class didn't do anything that interrupted or disrupted the teacher's class or their teaching, you shouldn't punish the whole entire class. Just punish the people who did it. Because why do we have to suffer because of what they did and then now you giving us extra work when we didn't even do anything? Honestly, I just feel like that should be canceled because I don't have time to be doing any extra work, especially in Spanish. Because, first of all, this is already a foreign language. I mean, I was struggling in there as it is. And then, on top of that, you're going to give everybody extra work. I just didn't like that at all. The ninth one is when people touch my hair without asking. I cannot stand this, especially if I have like a certain type of hairstyle and it took me forever to do it. Then you touch one little piece of my hair and my whole entire hairstyle is messed up for the day. Because most of the time, I really don't bring like any extra equipment with me um, to school like a comb or a brush because most of the time my hair is down and I really don't have like stuff like um flyaways on my hair or most of the time my hair is hanging down and the ponytail or in the bun but if people touch my hair and don't ask me and they mess it up I just kind of go off on them because first of all I don't like people touching my hair then you're gonna touch my hair and mess it up and not even try to fix it I just can't stand it when people touch my hair because it's just very annoying. Like, I didn't ask you to touch my hair. I mean, I know my hair is pretty. I have nice, pretty, natural hair. But that does not mean you get to touch it without my permission. And even if I did tell them to do it, I still don't want them to do it because I don't like people touching my hair. So, don't touch my hair. The tenth one is reckless drivers. I don't know how the people drive where you guys live, but the people who drive where I live, they crazy. I mean, I don't know where in the world they got their driver's license from, but they need to go back and retake their driver's test because they need a new license, okay? Their license needs to be renewed. They need a whole new driving test or something because the people who drive here where I live, they be swerving in and out of cars, almost causing accidents. And honestly, that's not how you're supposed to drive. I mean, if you had common sense, you would know not to do that. The 11th one is teenagers who drive and record on Snapchat. Now, I don't know if teens do this on y'all Snapchats, but I know it's so many people who do this and mainly girls who do this. And it's a few boys on my Snapchat who do this. But first of all, we kind of inexperienced. I mean, we think we got it going on. We got a little car, we got a license, and we think we just rolling. And we have very little experience out here on the road. And then on top of that, you just driving down the road and just recording on Snapchat. It can wait. It can wait. You can get to your destination. Then you can record yourself. Because a lot of accidents that happen nowadays are because of teens. Because we're texting and driving or we're always on our phone and driving at the same time. Because that shouldn't be it. And anyway, texting and driving is against, is against the law anyway. So some people just try to sneak and do it. But if you're a teen and you barely know how to drive and you out here driving down the road doing this recording you barely looking at the road like you look up from your phone what every five seconds to see if you haven't crashed or if you've missed the red light or whatever i mean put the phone down and get to your destination first because i promise you if you do not get to your destination safely you will never pick up your phone again okay so it can wait 
The 12th one is people who think they all that and a bag of chips. Now, I probably mentioned this plenty of times on my um, channel before and maybe in my Unpopular Opinions video. But I cannot stand it when people think they all that and a bag of chips. And basically what that means, they really think they're better than the next person or that they're doing better than the next person. Well, let me tell you something. Everybody in this world is not perfect. Just because you think you have more than the next person does not make you better than the next person. Because you can be in the same boat as them and vice versa. Just because your parents provide you with a lot of stuff and that you're basically blessed. You're blessed. You shouldn't be walking around here thinking you got it made because guess what? You don't have it made. Nobody in this world is perfect. And I kind of feel like a lot of people take stuff for granted. And personally, I don't because I'm blessed and I'm very thankful and grateful for everything that I have, for everything that God has given me. So I don't think I'm all that in a bag of chips. And I really can't stand it when other people think they all that in a bag of chips when they really not. The 13th one is when teachers give out too much schoolwork. Now, I understand that they have to teach us everything in the curriculum that's given to them by the state before the end of the school year is over with. But do you really have to give us four or five, um, what am I trying to say? Do you really have to give us four or five um, sheets of work every single day or all in the same day? Like, we have work on top of work, projects on top of projects, and we have a test literally every single week. More, like, we have maybe two or three tests every single week. Especially a lot last year when I was a junior. I always had a test in chemistry, um, English, and algebra. Like, it was back to back. Like, I understand that they have to give us everything that we need before the school year is over with. But slow down because you giving us too much work and they really don't know what the other department is planning. So, I just kind of feel like they should really kind of slow down and maybe give us one or two pieces of work, like, every day. Just don't give us four or five because that's just honestly too much for anybody. The 14th one, famous YouTubers do extra stuff just to make more money. I kind of feel like they do that just to make extra money um, because YouTube is their only job or they try to make it seem like it's their only job. Um, so the people that I'm really talking about, um, the first people I think I'm talking about I love them to death. I watch their videos all the time, but the Prince family, I kind of feel like they do a lot of extra stuff that's out of the ordinary just to get more money. And I'm mainly talking about Damien because I kind of feel like Bianca is her normal self, but Damien, I feel like he is way too extra. Like, I feel like he forces it sometimes. Um, another YouTube couple... I think will have to be Carmen and Corey. Now, I really don't watch them. Um, I used to follow both of them on Instagram, but when I felt like they thought they was all that in a bag of chips, I unfollowed both of them um, because they kind of do think they all that in a bag of chips, and I do feel like they do the most on their YouTube channel just to get more money. Um, and another YouTube couple, Nair and Jalen. Now, I watch them every blue moon, but I kind of feel like they kind of do the most too now it's probably the kind of videos that they create um that kind of makes them popular and earns them a lot of money but honestly just be your normal self like nick and king i feel like nick and king they don't do extra stuff just to get extra money off of youtube i just feel like they're their normal selves so these other famous youtubers need to pick up and follow after Nick and King because Nick and King are their normal selves when they're on YouTube. The 15th one is when a boy throws himself at a girl and a girl throws herself at a boy. And what I mean by this is, for example, a boy will do any and everything in his power to make the girl like him when she really doesn't and vice versa for a girl. 
this happened to me now i'm gonna i'm not gonna mention any names but this happened to me first um my freshman year of high school and then again last year when i was a junior problem number one is he is 11 months younger than me because y'all know my birthday is January 20th, 2003, and his birthday is in December 2003. So that's problem number one. Problem number two, he's not my type. Problem number three, he's unattractive. And problem number four, he's annoying. So I don't even know why he tried everything he could to get me to like him because it's never going to happen. And I feel like when boys and girls do this, you're just really embarrassing yourself, not only in front of your crush, but also in front of other people who are around when you're doing it because they don't like you they're never going to like you and you're really just wasting your time and your energy when you can be focusing on something else that's more important the 16th one is when girls or girls who switch up on the fake hair every week i see this so much at my school like one week they have braids the next week they have a wig and then the week after that they back to their natural hair like how can you switch up on that like every single week because i know that stuff costs a lot of money and then when you have like wigs and braids in and again i don't know how none of that feels except for the natural hair um oh my gosh that male man is flying but anyway, I don't know how any of that feels because I don't wear the fake hair. But if you switch that out like every single week, not only are you kind of really wasting money, because I know that stuff costs a lot of money, but also your real hair is coming out with that. Honestly, I feel like if you do the fake hair and all that fake stuff, you should really have it in for maybe two to three weeks, then take it out. But like switching it up, every week is just too much the 17th one is when someone is talking in a conversation then somebody interrupts the conversation so what i mean by this is let's say there's a group of four people and then one person is talking um and then the other two people are listening in and then they're agreeing with them and then somebody else just all of a sudden just jumps in the conversation and they start talking to the other person. Like, I wasn't finished talking. Why are you jumping in and talking about something that's completely different that doesn't have anything to do with what I'm talking about? Honestly, I can't stand it when people do that. Now, that only happened to me um, maybe a few times during middle school and high school. Um, but I just can't stand it when people do that like, I wasn't talking to you and then you gonna jump into the conversation and talk to the person I was talking to about something that doesn't even have anything to do with what I'm talking about like back up and wait your turn until I'm done with this person okay the 18th one is when people have attitudes 24-7 I cannot stand this at all, especially in school. People just walk in looking like they mad at the world. Like you, it's early in the morning, and you walking in with a with the mad look on your face. Like honestly, fix your attitude at the door because most of the times I'm always a cheerful, cheerful person. Like I always have a smile on my face. But if I see somebody walking in with a mad look on their face, I'm just like, it's barely 7 o'clock in the morning. You already walking in like somebody made you mad within five minutes. Just fix your attitude at the door because I don't have time for that. Because people with attitudes 24-7, most likely, they probably already mad about something or they just have a mad look on their face. The 19th one, students who stuff papers in their backpacks. I cannot say this one at all because I'm a very organized person. Like for school, um, I have dividers in my binders. I have it sectioned off for like vocabulary, homework, um, schoolwork, test papers, stuff like that. But when students just stuff papers in their backpack and then the next day the teacher's like, 
Okay, pull out the paper that we had yesterday so we can finish working on it. Then that student is still rumbling through their backpack because they can't find it because they got all those other papers in there. So, I just can't stand it. And then, when they open up the backpack, it's just papers galore. No type of organization at all. No binders, no folders, no dividers, none of that. It's just stuff in there. And last but not least, number 20, boys who sag are nasty because we don't want to see all your underwear. We don't want to see that. We don't want to see your boxers, your Ralph Lauren, your polo. We don't want to see all of that because that's just nasty. Some, some boys who do that, they think it's cute. Some girls think it's attractive personally. I don't think it's cute or attractive. It's just nasty. I mean, that's why belts are made. Belts are made for a reason. To put around your waist to help hold your pants up. I mean, come on now. Just go buy a belt and put it on you. And walk around like a normal person. Because we don't want to see that. Because that's just gross and nasty. But those are all of my 20 pet peeves. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!